Welcome back to Nanny Naren. A place where we tell our stories. About our differences. Or your laughs. Uh, today, Nandy and I have a special announcement. We're going to take a two-week break to re-strategize and plan some great content for all of you. So don't fret. We'll be back on May 25th. Memorial Day, right? I think so. I don't know. Enjoy our second installment of Aaron's Cocktail Corner. Hi everyone, welcome back to Aaron's Cocktail Corner. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to make one of my personal favorite drinks, the American Flyer. First off, let's start with those ingredients. You're gonna need a splash of agave syrup, half an ounce of lime juice, 1.5, ounces or one shot of dark rum, and then three to five ounces of the bubbles. I chose Prosecco. Let's leave the more fancy and more expensive champagne for celebrations. Okay, so first things first, grab some ice and you wanna put it into your shaker. Not too much is needed. And if you don't have a shaker, then I talked about it in my previous video, where if you take two large volumetric containers and just pour things back and forth over and over, same effect that I'll have to do. So, fill this up with ice. Then we're gonna grab our lime juice and pour this in. Next up, we're gonna add just a splash of the agave sweetener. And now, for the fun stuff, the rum. One full shot. There we go. Yes, sir. But I learned my lesson last time. I'm making one for Nandy as well. So I'm adding two. There we go. And a splash for good luck. There we go. Now what we want to do here Put our shaker on top and give it a good old shake. Okay, now that this is all shaken up, let me go grab the champagne flutes that we're gonna pour this into out of the freezer. I'll be right back. I'm back. The American Flyer is not traditionally served with any type of ice at all. So it's nice to use the coolness of the champagne flutes and have that sort of add a nice coolness to your drink. It's very refreshing, it's very nice. So let's start to pour it up. All right. About one third of the way for each. And now you wanna take your bottle and you wanna open it very carefully. Bottles of champagne and bottle Prosecco are very, very dangerous. So whenever opening a bottle, you never wanna point it at yourself, at someone else, or at anything expensive. These corks are literally deadly, but just treat them with care and you should be good to go. So the first thing you wanna do, which I've already done, is I've carefully removed the uh, the covering that was on top of the cork bottle. And as you can see, there's a wire basket that's on top of the Prosecco bottle. And there's a twisty key here that you want to remove. All of them need six turns. So you want to turn to the left six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now before taking it off, I want to put my hand on top of the bottle the whole time. Grab it from the bottom and twist until it comes off. So now, let's top off our drink. Nice and slow. The effervescence of the bubbles will mix up the drink and it'll mix everything together quite nicely. And there you have it, folks, our very own American Flyer. This has been another episode of Aaron's Cocktail Corner. Enjoy your American Flyer. Cheers.
Thank you so much for making it to the end of our second edition of Aaron's Cocktail Corner. Right. Those drinks are insane. I'm gonna make another one right now for dinner. Can't wait. We just want to remind you, of course, that we're gonna be gone for the next two weeks. We'll see you back on May 25th, Memorial Day. Until then, stay safe, stay home, and we can't wait to see you again. Nandy and Aaron out. <laughs>